Hello, my dear students. Today we are going to learn what is a debate writing. This falls into the category of very long writing, which carries ten marks. And what is the format that you have to follow? What could be the example, an ideal example of debate writing? All those things we are going to discuss in this video. So stay tuned. with us in our channel first of all let's see what is a debate so here a debate is an organized argument or contest of ideas in which the participants discuss a topic from two opposing sides so before we have the explanation of the first point let me ask you have you seen anybody discussing on any topic in the school in your neighboring areas or somewhere else i know the answer is yes because we find people arguing or discussing different topics in different situations but is that a debate or it's just an argument i will consider those to be an argument unless and until it gives a positive or productive result so here the task of debate is to highlight all the negative and all the positive sides of any situation okay so when we are having a debate we can call it an organized argument because we are going to discuss that these are the points because of which that team is supporting the idea and there is another team who is going against the topic because of their point of view okay and through their point of view what are the points that they get to see all right so a debate is an organized argument and it is contest of ideas because ideas differs as we are different individuals somebody may like black color somebody might consider it to be in auspicious okay so based on their viewpoint based on their experience what is right and what is wrong it gets highlighted from different perspectives so that is a debate to discuss something in a formal way at a public meeting debate is a formal argument a debate is to be done in a formal way it means it has to follow some rules and regulations the language should be standard one we cannot use frivolous language casual language we cannot use slangs which are totally avoided we cannot be angry we cannot raise our voice whatever we have to say we have to say it with example with concrete proof so that our argument our point will be strong okay so in a formal way we need to conduct a debate third point has those who agree with this statement or idea are the pro side those who will not agree with the statement or idea are the con side obviously to highlight different perspectives we need two teams one will talk for the motion another one will talk against the motion so we will have two teams to conduct debate competition or even if we are organizing it in the classroom we need two groups each side will show in an organized and clever way why they believe to have the right answers now here we need to understand that in a clever way that means it's not necessary that all the topics will be appropriate for all the participants so here what we need to do is that with examples incidences which has happened in past or happening around us they have to choose those examples very cleverly which will support their statement okay whether they are going for the motion or against the motion it should be justified for that they need to include all the proofs 
if they are quoting some line from any book they have to write the name of the book page of the book okay and how it is relevant all right so here they have to give examples to prove their statement right but that should be done in a very clever way i'm repeating it because sometimes the topic we don't like we find that yes another party is talking in favor of the statement and that is having more points but we have to stick to our statement for that proofs are required for that what we need to do in order to prove ourselves right we need ample of examples which we have to add it in a very meticulous way let's move to the last point they will use examples and evidence to support their ideas while working towards a conclusion the point which i have already told you it should be substantiated with examples proofs and they have to give quotations or relevant examples from books i hope this page is clear let's move to the next slide now next very important point why do we need to write a debate what is the aim of debate writing let's find out the first point is the aim of a debate is to convince the opposition that you are right that is very obvious we are in competition because we have to prove another party is wrong so that we will do he here through writing okay to present all the aspects of a topic in a respectful way to the audience now here you have to focus on the word respectful because when we conduct the debate what happens that sometimes another party goes angry they become loud they become fierce but we have to control our emotions and we have to stick to the decorum of the program or decorum while writing it okay it means we should not deviate from the format which is given by cbse and the standard of language that we need to use so even if we don't agree with our opposition party we need to say that your point of view might be right but because of so and so reason i do go against it and here is the proof okay so in that way in a respectful way we you have to put forward your view point i hope it's clear let's move to the next point to show that there could be another way to look at the situation one cannot be right always that's very very important point see all the time it's not necessary that one person is right there might be situations when we find that another party is also talking to support their statement with proofs with examples so we need to lend our ears to that party as well and after listening to them we have to prove them wrong that because of so and so point i disagree with you so it has to be done in a very respectful and reverent manner and we have to say that there could be another viewpoint to look at that situation okay let's move to the next one when the two sides agree on the subject or when one side's argument are more convincing than the other side that is when the debate comes to a close now here we need to understand that it's not necessary that the winner's point of view everybody has to follow okay like in a debate competition there will be audience there will be judges there will be host team but it's not necessary that the winner's point of view we have to follow no debates competition the aim of debate competition is to show that this is also the aspect of that particular situation okay so we need to keep in mind that everybody has different point of view and debate competition highlights all the sides of the situation let's move to the next point to inculcate public speaking skills among students that's very important unless and until we organize 
debate kind of programs in the school or in our classroom the students will never speak and unless and until they speak they will not learn they will not be confident in future in future they have to face interviews and they will be nervous when they are facing the board members so right from the grassroots level we have to train them we have to give them vocabulary we have to correct their grammar we have to show them format and while speaking the content will be refined gradually so this is the main aim of debate they should be able public speakers next point to arouse in students an interest to know their surroundings in a meticulous way now see debate is not the task of one or two days because every day we have to observe things every day we have to watch news every day we have to interact with our near and dear ones and we have to understand that okay this is happening around me and this is right and this is wrong this is right because of so and so plus points and this is wrong because of so and so negative points if we have such kind of mindset then obviously we will be able to inculcate this interest in students to improve communication skills this is very important in english language we need communication skills and this will be possible through such kind of programs so here when we are writing the debate we have to keep in mind all those things okay that grammar should be correct the vocabulary should be appropriate and in very short line economizing our words we have to convey what we have to say so here you can see the format in the format at first you have to write opening address then you have to discuss merits and demerits and then you have to conclude the debate now in opening address what all things you have to say first you have to introduce yourselves okay then you have to address the chief guest and you have to say the topic whether you are speaking for the motion or against the motion that should also be revealed here now one more thing let me tell you if you wish you can start this debate with some quotation some beautiful lines which supports your debate topic okay and then you can introduce yourselves and then you can address guest and then you can say the topic okay in that way also you have to start the debate now next in middle paragraph here okay you have to discuss the merits and demerits so at least three points should be mentioned here okay different proofs you have to include in support of your statement you have to give ample of examples but those examples should be related to the topic it should not be like you are going against your own statement or side you have to be very careful try to mention exact source of examples or incident that you include that is very important when you are mentioning some incident you have to say on which date that had occurred and in which place and what was the point because of which you are adding that example for your debates support okay if you are extracting some example or situation from book you have to name the book its writer as well and then in conclusion you have to thank the audience after saying your conclusion okay what do you think about the debate topic first of all you will say those few lines for the conclusion of the debate and then you will thank the audience i'll show you an example how you have to go about it so i hope the format is clear let's move to the next slide here you will find marks distribution one mark for the format four marks for the expression in expression you have to keep in mind that how well you are expressing here your words will be calculated your expression like in a small phrase or small lines how well you are conveying your viewpoint okay because writing 3 4 pages 
might not have some effect okay because it might happen that we are writing four or five pages but after reading those pages we will not be moved okay whereas if somebody writes five lines with proper vocabulary with proper expression then we might change your change our mind or we might think about that topic so here economizing and using standard words matters a lot and this has four marks let's move to the next one five marks is for grammatical accuracy appropriate words and spellings next 2.5 is for coherence and relevance of ideas and style so obviously it's a language subject therefore we should not do any grammatical mistakes when we are presenting it in some function then some of the grammatical mistakes will not be noticed but when we are writing we have to be very much careful regarding punctuation marks as well okay so grammatical mistakes should never be done while writing it appropriate words correct vocabulary is mandatory this will not only lessen your words but it will enhance the effect as well next coherence the debate should not be jumbled up first you will say why you are supporting it example 1 why you are supporting example 2 and then 3 okay and so on it should not be half as that okay next it should be related to the topic whatever ideas you are putting forward it should be related to the topic and in a proper style you have to present your debate so all these things will conclude your 10 marks now let's move towards format for the motion as you all can see out here at the top i have written format for the motion so this should be the structure of your answer okay so let me tell you that in question when let me tell you when you receive the question you have to read out whether you have to write the debate for only one side or you have to write for both how you are going to understand that let me tell you when you read the question sometimes you will find the question asking you to write only for the motion sometimes only against the motion but sometimes nothing will be written okay in that case you have to write for both for the motion and against the motion now what will be the format for that let's see so let me discuss first of all format for the motion here in introduction as we have seen in our another slide we have to introduce ourselves name of the speaker should be there his class section yeah they have to address to the chief guest because without chief guest there won't be function then declaration of the topic and they have to say they are supporting the motion for the motion okay now in order to debate they have to mention point 1 with supporting material in supporting material they have to add examples as we have said earlier proofs or some writings from the books or anything which they find useful for debating point number 2 will have another example related to the topic okay so likewise you have to write 1 2 3 4 5 6 points okay intro 6 points along with supporting statement and then conclusion now in conclusion what you have to say you have to thank the audience for listening to you throughout the program okay now before this you can conclude by you know ending your view point which you have mentioned here okay so the same format you will find in against the motion as well now here only changes will be here in the declaration of the topic name class section address to the chief guest then declaration of the topic and this time you have to say you are against the motion okay point wise 
first two first second third fourth fifth sixth six points at least you have to write with the help of with examples and supporting proofs again you have to conclude the debate just like you have concluded in the further motion okay here you have to keep in mind if this is of 10 marks then you have to write 6 points if it is of 5 marks just deduct it with 50% that is only 3 points 1 2 3 intro and conclusion will always be there okay if it is for 10 marks if it is for 10 marks you have to write all six first of all intro all six points and then conclusion if it is for of five marks then you have to write only intro three points and then conclusion i hope it's clear now let's discuss what will be the format when you are writing for both for the motion and against the motion see it carefully you have to write intro name class section address to the chief guest declaration of the topic now this time you will say in favor of the topic three points okay and then conclusion here you have to thank the audience for listening same goes with against the motion as well intro now new name the name which you have mentioned here that will be different that will be changed okay if here you are talking about abc then here you will write x y z okay so in this way you have to write another name for against the motion statement class section address chief guest address and then address to the chief guest and declaration of the topic that is against the motion three points and then conclusion now here what we you have to keep in mind is that the points which you have written for for the motion you have to say just against the motion for these three points only okay how you have to do it i have written one example also you have to go through that okay suppose if it is about facebook and it is saying his your friend is saying that it communicates with people now in the first point you have to say okay here it is talking about connection now here you have to say that the connection which we generate from facebook is not reliable because there are most of the times we find fake ids and there are fake people and there is possibility of getting misused okay therefore the point which you have mentioned here the exact point you have to write here as well okay so in this way you have to write for the motion and against the motion in one answer children let's discuss what are the do's and don'ts for debate writing let me read out point number one before you begin writing write down all the points one or two words per point at the back of your answer sheet that is rough sheet so that you do not forget relevant points while writing this also helps you in maintaining a sequence which is very important now here once you get the question and you have to choose debate what you have to do you have to write all the points which is coming in your mind after reading the question for the motion or against the motion or against the motion so all these points you have to write somewhere especially on a rough sheet okay because randomly you cannot write it down you have to jot down the points and then from there you have to segregate what should come first and what should come second and which point should follow after that so after getting the question paper write on a rough sheet and then point wise you mark it then you finalize the final points okay next make sure you double check for grammatical accuracy and spellings they carry marks obviously this is from writing section therefore you have to be very much aware about grammar okay and spellings as well leave an adequate number of lines between paragraphs to make it 
look clean. So when you are writing in paragraphs, as I have shown you, let me show you once again here. When you are changing the paragraph, you have to leave a line. Okay, I guess this is already taught you. So you have to leave a line which shows that you are changing the paragraph. Okay, so this line should be given in order to make it look very neat and clean. Let's move to our slide. Okay, here. Now, next, what you have to do? Underlining the main points is very important, but it is advised to do it after finishing your exam. Use a pencil and a scale for underlining. Now, see, in entire point, you will find some key words or key phrases which are also called value points. Without that keyword, the answer will be incomplete. So, those points you have to underline so that it will be easier for the examiner to locate your answers particularly. Okay? And this should be done if you have extra time at the end of the examination. It's not that you will keep on underlining debate writing's value point and you will miss out some portion from literature. It should not be like that. Time management is extremely important when you are writing English paper because in English there will be more than two paragraphs which you have to go through it, you have to read questions and then you have to finalize the answers. So it's very time consuming paper, you have to train yourselves. Let's move to the next point. Here. Always have a few general quotes in handy. They help in presentation and shows you that you are prepared. See, in order to make your answer enriched, you have to learn 10 such quotes which are applicable for article, debate, speech, etc. And these quotes you can use in long answers in literature portion as well. These quotes... If you are writing, it shows that you are well prepared and your and your sincerity will be highlighted in front of the examiner. Therefore, you have to keep those at least 10 quotes ready so that it can be used in different answers. Okay. Presentation is very important. Now, in presentation, everything counts. Your handwriting, your neatness. Okay. And then... How well you are projecting your viewpoint. Next, read a lot of debates to get an idea. You have to read a lot because nobody is trained in this field. Even if somebody has taken part in different debates, when another topic comes, he or she finds difficulty. It is because every day we are not practicing. So for that, preparation is required. And for that, a lot of debates we have to listen to. I'm not talking about news channel debates because there we will not find concrete idea about this particular topic. There people come, they fight, okay, they generate TRP for the channel and they go. That is not our motive. Our motive is to make children aware about the language also at the same time aware about the situation as well. Okay, so for that, excessive reading, excessive engagement with debating topics are required. Let's move to the next point. Have information about all the major environmental, political, social issues that have taken place during the entire year. So some relevant, uh, some current topics should be there in your mind on which debate question can come. Okay, examples spreading of fake information, mob lynching, reduced physical activities in children resulting in poor health, etc. For preparation, you can go through past year questions as well. Okay? And make yourselves ready. Let's move towards what we don't have to do in the debate writing. First point says, never mention any of your personal details, that is name, school name or address. Here you have to assume yourselves to be somebody else and then you have to write if you don't want to write anybody's name you can write a a b c x y z or any other name 
Next, never write in one go. Make sure you follow the right format and make paragraphs. As I have showed you, there should be six points and those six points will be in paragraphs. Paragraphs of three lines each. Three, three and a half. Okay. Don't use slangs or short forms. You are not supposed to use slangs. That's very obvious. You have to substantiate your viewpoint with examples and that will be more effective. Okay. You are not supposed to use short forms while writing the debate. Okay. Because we are here focusing on writing the debate, not verbal debate, which happens during school's functions. Okay. So, when you write, even punctuation mark and spacing matters a lot. So, at that time, you should not use short forms. You have to write full form. Okay. Like gonna, wanna, etc. Okay. These are to be avoided. Don't write the wrong facts. Don't think that examiners are fools. Whatever examples you are writing, you have to write date and place when it happened, time, etc. Okay, so when you are mentioning wrong fact, examiner will be able to locate your wrong thing and then they will mark you less. So keep in mind you are supposed to write perfect examples only. Try not to exceed the prescribed word limit of 150 to 200 words. Now here keep in mind that examiners are not going to count the words of debate. But still they can understand how much you have written. But more important is in less words how well you have presented your debate. Okay that will give you marks. Alright. Do not invest too much time in just this question. Debate writing is obviously a lengthy topic, but still you must be very clever to complete this debate writing by mentioning all the formats, by following all the formats, by writing all the points and presenting it very well. You have to be very clever in that section. Otherwise, you will run out of time and you might miss out other questions and answers. Okay, let's move to the next slide. Now, here is an example for you all. Here is the question and here is introduction. First point, second point. Third, third point and concluding paragraph. Okay, this is continuation of the previous one. So, it will be counted as second point. Third point and then conclusion. So, in this way, you have to write it. Please go through it properly. The topic is very easy and then write it in your copy as well. This is against the motion. This is for the same question. Here, I told you to start with quote. You can uh, start with a uh, question also, rhetoric questions. And then introduction points. Okay, let's see the next slide. See here, other points and then conclusion. So, in this way, you have to write the debate. Please go through it then you will understand everything here is another example academic excellence is the only equipment only requirement for a successful career write a debate either for or against the motion now here for or against only one side you have to take but i have given both so here you have to go through this these points and then write it in the answer okay for the motion and against the motion as well Please go through it and let me know whether it is clear or not. Now, this is your task. This is the question which you have to do it on your own. Okay, write a debate on the topic uniform is an indispensable part of the students. Whether it is correct or you want to go against it. Highlights are here. These highlights will not be provided in the examination. Just to lessen your burden, I have given you all these points. You have to generate your own points in the examination. Okay. So, this is your question for practice. You have to write a debate on this topic. This is for the motion topics, and then this is against the motion topics. So, please go through it and let me know whether it is clear to you all or not. Thank you, everyone. We will meet with some other videos very soon.